Greetings and welcome to a five-minute weekly scripture reveal Bible study dedicated introducing all to the word of God, intending faith that comes from hearing, and that is hearing the good news about Christ. Today we'll be talking through the scriptures, listening to God's commands, principles, patterns, and promises to live by. And we do that to defeat the spirit of doubt, discouragement, diversion, delay, and defeat. And we are becoming the best because of relationship with Jesus, followed by applying God's word. Today, we'll be doing part one, is Jesus the Messiah? And the, the whole scripture text is John chapter 7, verse 25 to 36. And we'll be covering up to verse 31. And this question is very relevant for this world that we're living in today, as just as it was a question when Jesus was on the earth. John chapter 7, verse 25 to 27, New Living Translation. Some of the people who lived in Jerusalem started to ask each other, isn't this the man they were trying to kill? Verse 26, but here he is speaking in public and they say nothing to him. Could our leaders possibly believe that he is the Messiah? Verse 27, but how could he be? For we know where this man comes from. When the Messiah comes, he will simply appear. No one will know where he comes from. Now, in this verse, some of the people of Jerusalem had heard that the religious rulers were trying to kill Jesus. Since he was speaking in public and none of the rulers attempted to stop him, they wondered if the rulers had reconsidered and had recognized that Jesus really was the Messiah. But this seemed unlikely to the crowds because even they could think of some doubts. Their reasoning, we know where this man comes from. The people thought they knew where Jesus came from, Naz uh, Nazareth of Galilee. They saw him as a man, a neighbor, a carpenter, but they did not have a close relationship with him. They did not know that he had come from God and had and had been born of a virgin, heralded by angels, recognized as divine by shepherds, and then by wise men from the East, and greeted joyfully as the Messiah by two aged prophets, Luke chapter 2. Moving on to John chapter 7, verse 28 to 31, New Living Translation. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he called out, yes, you know me, and you know where I come from, but I'm not here on my own. The one who sent me is true, and you don't know him. Verse 29, but I know him because I come from him, and he sent me to you. Verse 30, then the leaders tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his time had not yet come. Verse 31, many among the crowds at the temple believed in him. After all, they said, would you expect the Messiah to do more miracle, mirac miracles, miraculous signs, sorry, than this man has done? Now, this verse is revealing to us, knowing that the people did not believe in him, Jesus said, yes, you know me, and you know where I come from. The people did indeed know where he was from geographically. He grew up in Galilee, but they really did not know because as Jesus went on to say, I represent one you don't know, and he is true. Jesus was declaring his divine origin and divine commission. From Jesus' proclamation, we can gather that it is important to know not from where Jesus came, but from whom he came. To recognize this origin requires revelation. But the people did not know Jesus because they did not know the one who sent him. This was too much for the leaders who tried to arrest him. This was the first spontaneous attempt to restrain Jesus. Jesus could not be detained for this time, for his time had not yet come. The verse between the two attempted arrests say that many believed. There was turmoil in the crowd about Jesus' true identity, just like this turmoil in this world today about Jesus' true identity. 
Some people believe and others did not. For a while, there had been general confusion, but the confusion was resolving into belief and unbelief. Those who believed Jesus those who believed Jesus concluded that he had that he had presented the true credentials of the Messiah. Today we covered part one, John chapter seven, verse 25 through 31, is Jesus the Messiah? It's a question we all got to answer for ourselves. You can find this teaching on youtube.com channel, Minister Panky. God bless. <laughs>